Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. So, uh, not too much news today, but we do have two small pieces of news. One is that Cardano doubled its bug bounty in, in an attempt to bolster up security because there have been a lot of hacks on other chains lately. And the next one is VeChain actually renewed a partnership or deal with Food Lore, which is a regional type of like trading thing between France and China. So that's pretty good. So let's actually go over the Cardano thing first. So because there's been a lot of recent hacks, not on Cardano, but on other chains, Cardano has actually doubled the bug bounty for hackers who find vulnerabilities. So these would be like white hat hackers who find exploits and then go claim a bug bounty. They want Cardano to be secure as possible. I mean, it is pretty secure. I don't think there's been any, any hacks or exploits on Cardano, um, but they want to make sure it doesn't happen in the future. So they increase their bug bounty to give more people incentive to actually attack Cardano and find exploits. So Cardano has announced that it has it is doubling its bug bounties for hackers who find and report vulnerabilities on the network. Bug bounties are not a new thing at all. And that's true. A lot of projects do offer them. And uh, they actually can be a lot of money. I think um, the recent one from uh, Coinbase, he collected like $2 million or something. However, with the accelerated pace of exploits in the decentralized finance space, projects like Cardano are trying to stay one step ahead of attackers in all aspects. So they'd rather pay a small bounty instead of getting a large, uh, a large exploit or hack later. So they've um, previously posted bounties for Cardano Wall and Cardano Node. Uh, the bounties, the lowest bounty was 300, uh, but they've actually doubled these bounties. Of course, um, subsequent bounties were actually much, much higher. Uh, the Cardano wallet category now has a $600 reward for low risk vulnerabilities. Medium goes as high as 2000 and high risk is $6,000. While the most important one critical, meaning they need to be attended immediately is now $7,500. So they're making it more and more, uh, attractive for, um, basically hackers to try to break Cardano in order to claim a bug bounty. Uh, for the other subcategory known as Cardano node, it is treated more of a higher priority compared to its counterpart. That this is why it carried higher rewards before the update and this has run into and this has run into the new rewards. So for low risk bugs in the node side of things, it's been $800. Medium and high risks are billed at $4,000 and $10,000 respectively, while critical vulnerabilities go up to $20,000. So they're offering decent amount of bounties, uh, bounty rewards for hackers. And hopefully this does actually uh, get to those exploits but, uh, before real attackers can actually exploit, um, the bount uh, exploit the vulnerabilities in Cardano and drain millions of dollars. So obviously they're trying to like, um, they're basically trying to avoid stuff that other chains have actually experienced lately. And this is a good thing for Cardano, uh, basically getting more money out there in order to actually attract people to find exploits before real attackers uh, find them. The other thing is VeChain, and this is actually, I believe, a partnership that was actually announced in 2018 or 2019 before COVID-19. We didn't really know what happened to this during COVID-19, but obviously they were still running this partnership between France and China using VeChain via Foodgates, because Foodgates is actually powered by VeChain. This partnership has been renewed, which means it was working pretty well. Hopefully with the COVID sanctions, hopefully lifting this year, uh, we will be able to see more trade. It is with pleasure and pride that we announce that Food Lore and Council Regional Dis Payas de la Lore are renewing their partnership with Foodgates for China. Agri-food and wine producers will therefore be accompanied for export to China with Foodgates and Food Lore. So that is uh, essentially what we actually have today. Um, obviously, very good news for VeChain. Didn't lose any partnerships. Hopefully this will actually expand. I do think this is one of the partnerships that has been actually basically handcuffed by COVID as obviously like not being able to have people interaction and logistics has definitely been bothered by the basically shutdowns that especially China has. Remember, when China actually quarantines, they really quarantine. It's not like the United States where the president's like, please stay in your homes, please, please, please. When you actually catch COVID in China, your entire neighborhood basically shuts down and there's like one person that's allowed out to buy groceries for you. Obviously, that would never fly in the United States, but in China, that's how it works. And that's why probably imports of food and stuff have definitely probably have fallen uh, across a lot of China, especially for partnerships like this because everything is much much more restricted now and they've shut off access to a lot of places hopefully when that lifts this will actually uh, business on stuff like this will come back up and that will actually help vchain but vchain is still being used here and the partnership 
was actually renewed this year. So it's been working pretty well. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.